There we go. Oh my god, it came off. Oh, get it again. There we go. Got him. Got him out of time. Alrighty, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So it's actually evening time, the night before uh, a day of fishing. Tomorrow, we'll be going out to the California Delta and it will be our first trip of the year targeting striper out there. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, the black bass fishing definitely slows down in these cooler months, December and January, but the striper fishing can actually heat up and can be a lot of fun out on the California Delta. But first trip, I thought I'd start this video out showing a little unboxing of baits that we have for this striper season or the next couple of months of striper fishing out on the Delta. One thing that's pretty cool about striper fishing is the way you fish for them or some of the baits you use to target these fish. So these fish can vary in size, anything from little tiny shakers that we've caught all the way up to pushing 30 pounds, which we have seen our buddy Will catch last year. Point is there are big ones to be had in the California Delta. So this bait order specifically is for those bigger fish targeting those bigger fish with bigger baits and that's usually one of the best ways to uh, to catch them let's just get right into it this is a tackle warehouse order I made about a week ago I think I remember what's in here but everything in here like I said is targeting big Delta striper okay got the old t-shirt got about a thousand of those what do we have First bait, this is a Savage Gear Shine Glide. We've had some success with the one in the shad color. This is Gold Shiner. Pretty cool bait, another five and a quarter inch glide bait. We'll probably bring that with us tomorrow. Another Savage Gear Shine Glide, but this is the bigger version. And this is the nine inch Shine Glide. So a bigger glide bait, nine inches. Definitely gonna need some specialty rods for the bigger baits like this. We've got another nine inch glide bait and this one's in the color bone pretty neat We've got another glide bait here this is a seven and a half inch sneaky peat and this color is tule perch probably be good on clear lake too we've got an s waiver s waiver 168 in powder and then we've got the big mama this is the 10 inch Papa Pete, four and a half ounces. It's a trout pattern. We'll probably use this on not only the Delta, but the lakes that are stocking trout as well. So that is the uh, the bait selection or the bait order we made for, again, bigger class striper. We'll bring a few of these tomorrow. Not all of them, of course, but yeah, wanted to share that with you guys. And as far as the rods or the starting lineup, so to speak, that we'll have tomorrow while targeting striper are right behind me, you definitely, have to start out or at least have a top water with you just in case these fish are busting. It can very well happen at any time. So a top water is a must while you're out there. <clears throat> Second rod, we've got a five and a quarter inch shine glide in that thread fin shad pattern. Rod number three is a white chatterbait. White chatterbait, little paddle tail trailer. You can also put a swim jig on this or spinner bait. Typically for numbers and just to, you know, get some bites, a white moving bait like a chatterbait has, uh, has done well for me in the past. So always got to have that with us for striper on the Delta this time of year. And rod number four, still a striper bait. Definitely can catch stripers on the jerk bait, but this will also serve as our just in case it gets really tough and we need to catch some black bass. A jerk bait is a great selection for that, but also can catch some stripers. So that's our fourth rod and our just in case rod if we need to uh, go target some black bass. Yeah, so that's the tackle warehouse order. The starting lineup, like I said, tomorrow morning, we will be heading out to the California Delta in search of the striper, joined by some buddies. It'll be an early one, probably gonna leave the house around 5 30. other than that i think we are good to go and i will see you guys tomorrow morning for a day out on the delta targeting striper Two, right here. What do you? What bait should I start with? Would top water be too crazy? Uh, top water wouldn't be bad, or 
like a glide bait wouldn't be bad. I gotta go top water. All right, right on. Well, good morning, folks. Morning, Mr. Jackson. He's the uh, striper extraordinaire. We've got Dave over there somewhere fishing too. What's the plan today, striper? Yeah. Striper. Uh, go ahead and see if we can get on some of these striper. Got a lot of uh, schoolie sized fish around, a lot of bait. So see if we can't get on something of size, and if not, we'll get on some uh, numbers of fish. Let's do it, man. Nice foggy morning. Beautiful conditions. Really, uh, pretty out here. Couldn't really ask for better. So. Yeah, now as long as the fish cooperate, we'll be good to go. Any activity on the graph? Pretty shallow here, but we'll just like kind of keep covering ground and between the, what we're throwing between the three of us, if we're not getting bites, if we're not gonna get bit. You know, every time I've come out here, like the only place I've ever really caught them is like out in the middle. There he is. There you go. Well, that's a start. Last like few hundred yards of this ditch here. This big cap gets out there. So I'm gonna get this off and then drop it directly on me. Oh, I had a bite. Yeah. How did I get it though? one hit it. Oh, finally had one hit it. Dang it. Been committing to the... There we go. Oh, got it again. No. No. So I've been committing to this glide bait. Oh, dang it. Oh. After a million casts, you just never, <laughs> never can expect it. It's crazy. That fish hit it like as I let that bait fall. And then it must have just tracked it and smoked it one more time. Oh my god, it came off. Oh, get it again. There we go. Got him. Got him out of time. Come here. I don't know if it's big. Oh my god. I don't know if I should have loosened the drag or not. I mean, I got 20 pound test on. I don't need to loosen it too much. Oh. Oh, and another one. Dude, they're stacked over here. I think they're probably grouped up out here on the flat. We've been fishing pinch points all morning without any luck. I think they're out on the flat. That's the thing about these stripers. It's kind of like a needle in a haystack. You gotta just cover water, and if you run into them, you can usually run into a good group of them. 
Simone. Fish. Oh, I had one follow. Had one follow. Another follower. God. Said another follower. They won't take it. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to add a little chartreuse. Okay, maybe that'll do the trick. Yeah, I did not think I'd be doing this, but I think maybe jerk bait would do some work right now. Right. Oh, there we go, finally. I got like a little finesse jerk bait set up on though. <laughs> See if I can actually land this one. This has been my problem today, landing the fish. Alrighty, skunk out of the boat. You figured the jerk bait would work. It had to work. No. Oh, I'm going back to the glide. It's too much work to get that bait out of the net. Getting pretty toasty right now. On the fall. On the fall. There we are. We knew the chatter would work here. <laughs> yeah, you just wonder if we'd made the cast with the glide with that fish of eight. The oh, another one. Just got hit again. Dude. Like I was saying, you wonder if... Oh yeah! Oh no! God! There's a pile of them here, that's three casts in a row! <laughs> I'm trying to say something, I keep getting interrupted. Yep! Oh! That's four casts in a row! A little better one. A little better one. Here we are. Chatter. Dude, I gotta get back in there. There could be a million right there. There we go. Get on over here, fools. Dude, that must be like a wolf pack of them or something just mowing through here. Yeah. Yeah, because right here it's just like shallow grass. And that's where we were casting. Yeah, I think I just ran into a school of them. I think they're moving around out here though. Because there's nothing, I, I don't see anything that they sit on as a school. <laughs> I 
do want to fish the glide right now. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, you can see the tide is so low that this, I mean, the grass is just too, too high in the water column and I get fouled up every cast of the glide right now. So this chatterbait's really the only thing and a topwater that I can effectively work through this kind of cover. I knew it'd be here. Oh. Fight so hard. It's so hard. Such a fun fish to catch. Whoa. Oh, smash. That's the first time we've seen him bust on top. Big vulnerable topwater. I know this has been in the sight of at least one striper. They're just not hitting it. Hmm. Oh, I had one. Shoot. Oh, I came back and got it. Oh my gosh. Another little school of them right there. There we go. I just gotta find them. Make a bunch of casts and find them. Cover water is the name of the game. Man, it's so fun to catch though. Uh, no big ones yet, but they sure are a lot of fun. That was a long day out on the water. We were out there for like 11 hours. You know, it was a tough day overall. I probably had the toughest of, of, of us three. Dave and Tyler caught a lot more than I did. Not anything of size. I think five, six pounders were the big ones. But you know what? <laughs> like I said, striper fishing this time of year out on the Delta is a nice change of pace. Even though today was tough, we still got bit. We searched a lot of places, covered a lot of water, and actually got bit on the shine glide. I think I need to learn how to fish that a little bit better. Yeah, I was probably sloppy with trying to land those fish. The Shine Glide got bit, and then we got on a chatterbait bite. Custom chatterbait by Z-Man. Shed profile paddle tail. Little chartreuse on the tail, I don't think hurts and sometimes can definitely help get an extra bite or two, but that seemed to be the bait of choice. Another fun day out on the Delta, chasing a, a different species. I'm sure we will make plenty more trips this winter out on the Delta for some striper, and hopefully one of these days, hook into a really big one. As always, I thank you guys for coming along on the adventure, and I will catch you guys in the next video.